Yeah, now I have something far less appealing to offer to the council, which is it's time for the uh, ever popular council initiated discussion. Uh, those of you that have been on council for a while understand that this is the time when we uh, put our listening ears on, not that we've been ignoring all your advice up until now. Uh, but we, um, we ask you if there are reports or other presentations that you would like uh, NHGRI to prepare for future council meetings. Or as representatives of the scientific research community, um, are there issues out there that you want to draw to our attention? Wow, compliant group. Go ahead, Eric. Since these often turn into guest speakers, you know, a year from now or two councils from now, I wonder if it would be good to get a council meeting on Eric Dishman's calendar once, you know, NHGRI was very much involved in the early planning, conceiving of PMI. It's now morphed two or three times and its reality has a new name. Be, maybe it'd be good to have Eric come in. It's a great suggestion. What is a it? lot's happening yeah. and, um, and the launch is imminent and um, we're, we're increasingly interactive with them. And so I think I could have a conversation with Eric and figure out whether September is the right time or more like February. But I think some one of those, I think I would agree. It's a good idea. Good suggestion. And I, I, I like, um, I, I like the fact that uh, I, I like to see you know con, you know regular touching base with them, including with council, including among the advisors, would be a great idea. Um, well, it was mentioned earlier today that I believe it's the Institute of Medicine that just issued this report on genetic evidence and whether I downloaded it, it's like 150 pages. Whether what's rec studies that are recommended for genetic evidence or evidence for genetic testing, and I was wondering if perhaps at a future council having someone that was on that committee discuss those findings in more detail, since we talk about it in a lot of our grant applications now and concepts. Yeah, we had this some time. Uh, maybe two or three years ago, but uh, with the change in administration and FDA leadership, can we get someone from the FDA uh, back for see if there's new philosophies? Yeah, that's an interesting question, especially knowing they're going to about to get a new leader. Um, there's been some churn, a little bit of turnover in, uh, in that office in terms of the at least one person we were dealing with is no longer there. So I think that's a great suggestion. We'll, uh, we'll talk, I'll talk to our policy group and see if they have ideas on what's the right timing for that. I, 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 yeah, I, I think we should talk about it, find out, find out from them when they'd be comfortable. Yeah, Jeff. You have a particular interest in the Insight grants. Uh, we haven't heard about those in recent meetings. So uh, can we get an update on those at the next meeting or two? Okay. I will. Um, I, I will point out that, um, uh, I mean, as you know, Child Health Institute has. Uh, when Diana presented here, and uh, the last council meeting, Diana Bianchi, and um, and you know, lots of good discussions continue uh, with them. We have some meetings, a meeting schedule coming up, a long, long, a detailed meeting to really discuss with them other additional opportunities for collaborations uh, in the extramural program. So I think maybe the timing would be good to look at that. This may be planning way, way, way in advance, but you know, particularly thinking about as some of the bigger programs um, come up, you know, I know some of them just renewed, but come up for renewal a couple of years yeah. from now, you know, as we've discussed in the past, having them, uh, you know, having some presentation from scientists involved with those programs, you know, two to four council meetings in advance of when we'd actually be talking about it would be great. So, yeah, Jay, maybe I can make a comment without with that being relatively vague because it's not structured yet. But, but along those lines, um, maybe I should just point out, I'm happy to, 
to, to be very open about this, the, the fact that the date on our, our current strategic plan is 2011, and it's now 2017, and by the time we blink twice, it'll be 2018. So we started some internal discussions about you know, uh, the, the likely need, uh, well, we certainly need to renew that strategic plan. I uh, don't want it to get too old, probably don't even want it to get 10 years old, something short of 10. And so, but once you sort of make a decision about uh, going through a new strategic planning process, what that does is it creates a framework where you're going to be looking at a, a, anything that's big at the Institute, like some of the programs you allude to, are going to likely be swept into broader discussions that are taking place as part of a strategic planning process. So it's probably, a, I can't detail anything because we don't have anything yet to, to sort of talk about, but I would suspect maybe even as soon as the next council meeting, maybe laying out something when we get our ideas a little better organized that I think will create a framework that, that will really almost require some of the detailed discussions about some of our bigger programs that might be renewed over the next two, two, two to three years um, being part of a, even a broader discussion. So I think you'll see this happening, I predict, naturally. Yeah, Carol? So since um, there might be a new working group as part of council centered on data science, if that group has a chance to sort of get together and get the lay of the land and come up with some ideas, um, challenges, recommendations, I, I would really like to hear from that working group. Yep, absolutely. Point. So any, yeah, we clearly need to have continued discussions around data science, strategic planning. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, it's uh, time for me to read the conflict of interest statement, and um, this applies to the, all the applications that you will be reviewing in the closed session. You must leave the meeting room when applications submitted by your own organization are being individually discussed. In the case of state higher education or other systems with multiple campuses that are geographically separated, own organization is intended to mean the entire system, except where a determination has been made that the components are separate organizations for the purpose of determining conflict of interest. You should avoid situations that could give rise to charges of conflict of interest, whether real or apparent. For example, you should not participate in the deliberations and actions on any application from or involving your spouse or child, a recent student, recent teacher, a professional collaborator with whom you have worked closely, close personal friend, or a scientist with whom you have had longstanding scientific or personal differences. The NHGRI staff will determine the appropriate action based on recency, frequency, and strengths of such associations or interest, either positive or negative, and will instruct you accordingly. In council actions in which your vote on a block of applications, without, in which you vote on a block of applications, Without discussing any individual one application, the on block action, your vote will not apply to any application from any institution fulfilling the criteria noted above. Please sign the conflict of interest and disposal of confidential materials forms, which are provided in your um, folders. They'll be collected uh, at the end of the meeting. So I have one last announcement to make. Uh, in June and July, we will be uh, bringing on board a new set of uh, program analysts. They will be introduced to you at the September meeting. Um, but we'd like to say goodbye to a group who are um, leaving us, moving on to something uh, bigger and better in life. So could I ask the following people to stand so that we can recognize you and embarrass you at the same time? Uh, Julia Baker. Colette Fletcher Hoppy, Kevin Lee, and Jonathan Lotempio. So these people are headed off to graduate school or medical school, or as I said, something better than being a program analyst at NHGRI. Uh, I think the, there are plenty of things better than that. <laughs> Um, I think Council understands uh, how many large consortium programs NHGRI supports. 
and um, managing those weekly phone calls, data calls, report writing, organizing annual meetings. Uh, it's, it's an enormous amount of work, and the program directors would be bitter, bitter folks if they had to do this without the uh, dedicated assistance of the analysts. So thank you very much. And I think you can gavel us into the closed session. Now. Okay. We are adjourned. We're Thank adjourned for much. about 10, 15 minutes. Let the uh, communication staff take apart the uh, video casting, and then we'll resume. Okay. 15-minute break. <laughs>